Hello audience, I am Manslave, and I'm going to make this video as a response to a YouTube user who calls himself Electro Casil. Uh, hopefully I'm uh, pronouncing that uh, properly. It's E-L-E-C-T-R-O-C-A-S-E-A-L. -E -E it looks like it would be pronounced Electro Casil. And this was brought to my attention just uh, a couple days ago and um, of course it's January 30th 2013 right now and I want to make this video response to uh, Electro Casile. Uh it's a response to uh, well I've, I've actually downloaded and watched two of his videos uh, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> One of them is titled, I'm About to Destroy MGTO, uh, Men Going Their Own Way. Um, and then the other is, uh, MGTO are Virgin Losers. <laughs> and that's the main video that I'm going to handle. Uh, I see, um, I, uh, <clears throat> I see, looking on his YouTube channel right here, uh, Videos titled such as "Men's Rights is Sexist," "Bedwetting," uh, or "Belittling Men's Rights," uh, "Mesmerized Lemming," uh, "Lemmings," um, "Check Yourself, Bitch." Uh, let's see, uh, "Migto Can't Handle Women." Oh wow, <laughs> what the fuck is Migto? Um, exploiting damaged men. Alright, um, now since this is a video response to him, I'm just going to um, basically take over <clears throat> as if I'm uh, talking to him. Alright, in your video, uh, Electro Casil, titled uh, MGTO Are Virgin Losers, I'm at about the 41 second mark, and that that's going to bring me to um, some of the subject matter. Uh, that's in your video. Um, you know, I, I watched two of your videos, uh, particularly uh, several times. Uh, they're only about five minutes long on average uh, for these two videos that I've watched. I uh, I put the player on loop and just you know listen to them. I don't know at least six times, something like that. At least a half dozen times. And it looks like you got nice uh, you know audio recording equipment. Um, the microphone uh, that you use, it looks like a condenser microphone. Uh, I've, I see it's got the shock mounting and uh, it's probably nice and it sounds nice in uh, your video. The audio clarity is just really well. Uh, you probably got some kind of mixer with XLR and uh, let's see, the, for the condenser mic you probably, you might be using phantom power. <clears throat> and um, so anyway, uh, I, I just wondered if you kept up on any uh, any of the changes in the last few years with uh, mixers, and how they have the um, the, uh, the the hardware in there for interfacing to a computer through USB. Uh, so then you just use software to manage all this stuff, and you don't have to do any analog to digital conversion. Uh, and uh, you know, there's some nice equipment out there, and in consumer electronics, you know, things are just getting really, really better. But you know, really good. But you know, this this isn't going to be about that. Um, uh, so I'm watching this, and it, <laughs> you just you go off about men and the emerging uh, manosphere, which is uh, what a lot of us call the men's um, the men's movement. <clears throat> And, uh, it just, uh, you know, to, to really get myself started on this, I, I'm just going to have to, uh, watch a little bit of your video because, uh, I know some people who are like you, um, not the whole IM, uh, INFJ, uh, personality thing, uh, that you mentioned in a previous video, <clears throat> but, um, of course, I am myself very highly analytical, um, and I'm not going to exactly mention what personality types 
Uh, but hey, I'm at the 41 second mark, and I'm gonna can I'm gonna I'm just gonna let it play so that I could um, get myself started here. <laughs> Your first time, but I mean that's just sad, and um, you know th there's not enough girls who take one for the team when it comes to that, and. Uh... Uh, now that I just ended that at the 51 second mark, okay, you were talking about uh, pathetic, ugly, fat, nasty men <clears throat> in your video, uh, in that part right there, I'm going to go back to the 31 second mark to just um, really uh, get where you were going At least there. once, I mean, you really do, and I mean good, I mean sometimes sex is terrible, but I mean if you're a virgin, hopefully you don't have any fucking problems, but I mean... <laughs> your first time but I mean that's just sad and um, you know th there's not enough girls who take one for the team when it comes to that so what does that mean uh, there's not enough girls who take one for the team because me and my colleague the disposable human doing that's what he calls himself he um, he was wondering about that uh, you know because there's a lot of there are a lot of women who will not <clears throat> generally will not lower their standards of physical attractiveness. That's that's one of their primary focuses um, of, uh, of what motivates them uh, for, for choosing uh, uh, love partners, relationship partners, or just sex partners, whatever the case may be. Um, you see they always want that Prince Charming, and then they they are very shallow and superficial. They 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 feel like they shouldn't compromise but yet at the same time we have heard throughout our lives that you know uh, men must lower their standards if they want to um if they want to be in a relationship or get laid as what's apparently ultimately important to you um so anyway, you know, I used to hear all the time back through the 1990s and the early 2000s about how, you know, um, that I myself um, need to lower my standards, especially, you know, when I was a teenager in the, uh, in the, in the 1990s. Uh, you're probably already wondering my age. Let's see, uh, you're in your mid-20s. Well, I'm in my early 30s. All right. And um, so anyway... Now, your next uh, question you're probably going to have is whether or not this guy, which is me, has been laid. Uh, yes, I have. Um, I've been laid a lot um, by the same person. Uh, I was in a relationship for a little more than a year and a half, uh, the first one that I've ever been in. And I was in a situation to where I got sex just about any time I felt like it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my former girlfriend, the one I was with, was basically a, a sex freak. Um, and I was getting it upwards around three times a day. Um, at least five times a week. Um, you know, five, you know, at least five days out of the week I'd be getting sex. And, and of those days that I got sex, I would get it an upwards of, um, three times a day. Uh, so I had sex at least, at least a dozen times per week. Um, sometimes I got sex up to four times an hour, you know, that, that's how many times I got laid, you know, as in some circumstances as, as much as, uh, four times each hour. Uh, you know, usually I got laid no more than six times per day. Uh, I think the, the, the... The longest I've had to go without getting laid was about six days, uh, six consecutive days, but usually, you know, I would get laid, like, a lot, you know? Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, you know, I don't think this is the issue with me. Uh, they, uh, it's just... We're going to get into what, what this really is here, but, you know, I've, I've been wondering what you meant by, you know, a lot of girls don't take one for the team. Uh, is that, is it a reference to them not sacrificing or willing to sacrifice? Uh, 
Yeah, I just wondered what you meant there uh, because you you just mentioned you know something really briefly, and I know what something like that would mean. It's just you know I, I need a little more context, uh, just elaborate it on a little bit more, um, because from what we've seen is women usually don't sacrifice nearly as much as men. I mean, sometimes they have to. You know, sometimes they are in a situation where they can't get what they want, but they usually just fuss, bitch, whine, and uh, piss and moan, and uh, act like they've been horribly, uh, horribly violated or something like that. Now I'm at the 50-second mark in uh, your video, and I'm going to continue on. And um, I know there are a lot of really fucking, you know, disgusting guys out there. And, and, you know, all I have to say is it's worth it to get in shape, to get laid at least once. I mean, if you don't get laid... Uh, when you're young, I mean, that's just gross. Um, I'm not going to be talking about men go... Well, why is it gross whenever uh, a guy doesn't get laid whenever he's young? I mean, what does that mean? <clears throat> uh, all right, now, on, you know, on the subject of getting in shape, yeah, I agree, people should do that. People should exercise more and just not be a lazy dumb fuck. Uh, you know, I... I, I I'm with you on that. Uh, of course, I have a job, which is a more physically demanding job. Uh, whenever I'm at home, uh, away from work, I, I sit on my ass fairly often. I don't own any exercise equipment, but, you know, in the workplace, I am the physically strongest person there. Uh, that's because that when I'm, whenever I'm there, I apply myself, and I usually get assigned the most strenuous and dangerous tasks at my job, um, of which I, I, I do these tasks because it gets people off my back and, and, uh, and, and it, and it uh, minimizes their bitching at me. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I mean, it just... You know, there's so many times when I lift furniture, you know, by myself in the um, in the workplace and this and that. Um, just as a, a an example of of the type of environment I work in, you know, whereas everyone else wears sneakers, I wear uh, steel toe work boots. Um, you see. Um, I, I do the most, you know, I'll do the, the type, you know, I'll do a task and, and physically work myself in a situation where two people would handle the same task. And it's just because I get tired of people's helplessness and neediness <clears throat> of always wanting help with something, and then I do it myself to demonstrate that, yes, one person can do the task, you know, if they would apply themselves, but, you know, that advice just falls on deaf ears. <clears throat> so continuing on doing their own way anymore or men's rights up late at least once I mean if you don't get laid uh, when you're young I mean that's just gross um, I'm not going to be talking about men going their own way anymore or men's rights um, I really honestly believe it's just a bunch of pathetic losers who are trying to deal with not being good enough for women <laughs> what, what really Really, I mean, do you really think that's what it's about? Because if you do, then you're, you're very... Uh, I guess you're very superficial or something, because there's a, apparently there's a lot of shit you don't know. <clears throat> and uh, it's just, wh why would you think it's that? I mean, is it some kind of differential comparison between your situation and other people? I mean, like, maybe, maybe, maybe you haven't found the right girl yet. I mean, <laughs> oh, 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 man, um, you know, Electro Casile, I would recommend that you don't go to, um, uh, you know, to any bed and breakfast uh, type of, um, you know, businesses that are owned by Kathy Tritola. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm just going to clue you in with that. All right, continuing on. Way anymore or men's rights. Um, I really honestly believe it's just a bunch of pathetic losers who are trying to deal with not being good enough for women. Um, and this is nothing new. Um, I mean, even if you watch the men's rights shit, they, they talk about how um, most men don't make it, you know. 
Um, I'm not really concerned with that, but I definitely enjoy women. Women are one of the finer things in life. Now, I, I know there's a lot of success. You know, I used to actually believe that uh, years ago. Uh, but, you know, I, I began to wake up. And uh, and if you actually believe that women are one of the finer things in life, it, it's it's cluing me in to who you really are. Maybe you need to go read some Esther Villar. Uh, yeah. Oh man, uh, she's actually really good. Um, and uh, so anyway, uh, we're at the one minute uh, twenty nine minute or one minute twenty nine second mark, and let's continue on. Oh, um, I'm not really concerned with that, but I definitely enjoy women. Women are one of the finer things in life. Now, I, I know there's a lot of successful people who don't even bitch and whine about women. I mean, we can see it all over the place. Um, but really, men going their own way are just a bunch of fucking losers. And Why is that? I mean, you know, I, I heard some of your points, but, like, it just sounds like, you know, more... Just fucking like what? What would it be described? You know, it's it almost you know it almost sounds like um, it almost sounds like uh, the only word I could think of right now would be like a type of competition. You know, it's like you feel held back by you know, and I dealt with a, a friend of mine who 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 was like you. Um, who was hopelessly addicted to the vagina. And <clears throat> I was talking to him about sex and all that, and, uh, you know, he, he acted like I was infringing on his right to get laid. And I don't think that's what it was about, but the way he reacted, that's how I interpreted it. If I think he felt restricted or something like that because of the way he lashed back, which was kind of similar to to what you do in this um, in this video. But <clears throat> so anyway, um, yeah. Well, you know this dude, he just makes several other poor choices. So um, anyway, let's continue on. One way or just a bunch of fucking losers and. Um, I'm sick of looking at it. I'm just sick of fucking looking at it. And so, like, then, then, why are you looking at it? I mean, is <laughs> does this delve into the invisible gun theory? I mean, like, is there some kind of gun pointed at your head? I mean, you know, because I'm looking at the video and I, I don't see a gun. You know, uh, it must be invisible. You know, women use this same shit all the time. You know, whenever they they make bad choices, and you know, like when I was in the army, you know, years ago. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, and people, you know, we were in basic training and the, uh, and then, um, you know, people were getting tired of the, the army experience or whatever. And then the, the drill sergeant would remind them that, that, you know, that the soldiers signed up for this, you know, uh, that the new recruits had signed up for this and that nobody put a gun to their head and made them. Uh, sign the document to get themselves in the military and all that. So, you know, well, let's just see. Looking at it. I'm just sick of fucking looking at it. And I want my channel to be better than that. So I'm not going to, to do that shit anymore. Um, I'm just now, here's where we're coming into the, the main reason why I wanted to make a video response. I'm just not. I, I, I've, you know, it's a wake-up call. It's a, a fucking wake-up call to look at these motherfuckers again and say, you know, what the fuck am I doing? Okay. You know, I, I need to be better than these uh, scum of the earth motherfuckers. I'm sorry, but I mean, if you don't get, if you're not able to get the acceptance of women, you're doing something wrong with your life. I am sorry. There it is right there. Um, starting around 2 minutes, 12 seconds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this again. Um, just, I want to, and I'm at 2 minutes, 10 seconds. And I just want to, I just want to let this set in, uh, you know, for, for expressive purposes. I'm sorry, but I mean, if you don't get, if you're not able to get the acceptance of women, you're doing something wrong with your life. I... Alright, if, oh, if you're not able to get the acceptance of women, then you must be doing something wrong with your life. 
Now, Electro Castile, I, I want to ask, like, why? Why, why is that the case? Why, like, why do I need the acceptance of women? I mean, does it make the sun come up in the morning? I mean, does it make the sun shine to, like, give life to the crops so we can have things to eat? I mean, is the acceptance of women what keeps the, the earth from falling off of its axis and colliding with the sun? I mean, like, like... <laughs> Does the acceptance of women make sure that there's the proper amount of gases in the atmosphere so we can breathe? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, what's your problem? I think I know. You know, and here's where I'm going to lay it down on you, dude. Like, here, I'm just going to... Let's resume this, and then I'll lay it down on you. Fuckers. I'm sorry, but I mean, if you don't get... If you're not able to get the acceptance of women... You're doing something wrong with your life. I am sorry, but it's true. Uh, there, there is no excuse for not getting laid other than being an ugly, fat bastard. And, I mean, if you can't fix yourself, really, fine. But just don't talk about women. If you're a virgin, don't talk about men going their own way. If All right, now, this part, you know, 2 minutes, 33 seconds, you're going into... Um Basically, I think you're describing uh, a YouTube user by the name of uh, Ignored Gender. You don't mention him by name, but you mention him by description and attribute, and also by circumstance. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I've watched him, and he brags about being a virgin, and he's in his 20s, and yeah, it's like what you said. But I still respect the guy, you know what I'm saying? Because after having access to, to vagina, and, you know, and being around women, uh, I can say I'm glad to go my own way, you know? In the words of Stardust, you know, as he mentioned, he said, the juice is not worth the squeeze. You know, the, the benefits are outweighed by the risk. <clears throat> I mean, really. I mean, why do you pick on these people? I mean, like, you know, I think there's something going on in your mind. And, like, do you feel threatened by what these people say? I mean, why do you... And the reason why I'm asking this is because people are going to ask me the same questions about women and feminism. You know? Well, like... See, my problem is, is not having... You know, my problem is not about not having access to vagina. You know, it's about the double standard and what women do to men and how men are excessively servile and basically this whole fucking Trojan horse of equality and all this shit you know I want the lie that was promised I mean what the fuck why can't I just treat a woman right and then like she'll reciprocate and then we can just live happily ever after I mean Here's where I'm sorry to have to say this to you, Electro Casilla. You're fucking pussy beggar, dude. I mean, the fuck? I mean, goddamn. Like, why do you feel this need to have female approval? I mean, why? Why do you... I mean, is is it how you're... I mean, is it something to do with how your lungs take in oxygen so you won't fucking die? I mean, like... You're like a fucking drug addict, dude, that like, you know, that believes that fucking ecstasy or fucking methamphetamines or whatever is, is good because it makes you feel good. I mean, what the, like, you know, and, and the thing is, like, just, here's the problem. I'm sick of this fucking cycle where a woman is basically got self-esteem issues. She wants to test her marketability, so she'll just flirt with some unsuspecting guy. <clears throat> uh, and I mean flirt with him, like the shit that a guy could get in trouble for. You know, the, the shit you always hear about. Oh, man, his man just won't leave me alone. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to get into that because, see... You know, women, so much of the time, they want a self-esteem boost. You know what I'm saying? And so they'll flirt with a guy until he becomes interested in her. And then when he pursues her, she gets the immediate gratification of proving her marketability that a man can be interested in her. 
But she she doesn't want the responsibility of actually being with this guy because maybe she doesn't feel that he's attractive or desirable or could could provide whatever will make her feel you know basically he can't provide he he can't completely uh, accommodate her expectations in every way to a satisfact uh, to a satisfactory um, um, uh, level or whatever. And, you know, so she doesn't want to be stuck with this guy. She just wanted, you know, she just wanted some feel good. So then she, a lot of times, will play the, the, the role of the damsel in distress and, and, and pretend that she's a victim, you know, saying, oh, that guy's creepy and he keeps looking at me and he won't leave me alone. And, and well, you know, I'm, I, I was just being nice to him and then all of a sudden he wants to get in my pants and, man, you know, like, whatever the fuck. I mean, I've seen this so many times. Women do it to so many guys. They've done it to me. They, they just do this shit, you know, and it's like, they do. They flirt with a guy until a guy becomes interested in them, and then when he do, whenever he pursues them, then these women act like they're the victim of some kind of fucking stalker or some shit, you know. And women are fucking sick in the head. Most of them, most of them are fucking sick in the head by their own standards of how they judge other people. You know, I'm tired of these sociopathic fucking cunts. And all this shit, Taylor Swift, fucking Kelly Clarkson, Beyonce, the Kardashians, I mean, and, and, and just people in, like, one's own neighborhood, or one's own workplace, and all this shit, you know, I'm tired of all these fucking bitches like Amber Portwood, who fucking don't treat their kids right, and then when, you know, <clears throat> uh, you know, then when Gary Shirley, her, her boyfriend, you know, um, you know, threatens to call CPS and all that. Amber Portwood just fucking snaps and starts punching the shit out of them and all that on MTV's camera on television and all that. Then fucking runs and hides in the garage, makes a 911 call that I listened to. They even had it featured up on YouTube. And then she fucking creates a victim narrative of how he's being all abusive and yelling at her and all that. And she even says certain things like, you know, that's fine. Then leave me alone. Okay, good. And meh. And and, and trying, you know, trying to make it look like she's trying to appeal to him so he won't knock her teeth down her throat and all this fucking shit, you know. And then she says it, you know, and, and in this 911 call that immediately followed the fucking violent episodal fucking spaz out that Amber Portwood did where she fucking was wailing and punching the shit out of her boyfriend on camera in front of her fucking kid. You know, and then and then she acts like a victim and all that when she's calling the police, and then well then she gets you know uh, in, in jail or prison whatever, um, for whatever else, and then everybody fucking feels sorry for, her, and everybody feels sorry for her and the kid. Now now the kid people should be concerned about children's welfare. You know that that's that's something that is important. And because because that's the future, you know, that's the future generation. And but people felt sorry for Amber Portwood because she was enslaved to her own bad choices. Yet nobody felt sorry for the for the guy that got the shit kicked out of him for no legitimate reason. You know, the guy's a fucking teddy bear, a nice guy, you know, and all this fucking bullshit. I'm tired of the fucking gender that you, Electro Casile, fucking kiss ass to. I mean, I don't hate you, dude. I mean, in some ways, you seem kind of cool, you know? So there's, like, this desire for respect or whatever, you know? Because, like, I see the way you express things and I relate. But, like, I, I, you see, that's the thing. I don't hate you and I don't feel like, you know, there's a need to actually do harm to you or anything like that or anybody else but you know I feel like I'm kind of puzzled but then maybe it's just a clash a clash of different ideology you know and I'll just tell you dude after having access to women and their vaginas and all that the juice is not worth the squeeze the way they fucking treat people yeah why don't you go look up Kathy Tritola I mean, god damn, look at that fucking, uh, that, that sexual, or no, the, the fucking false rape allegation shit that she did. 
she fucking barged into this dude's room in her bed and breakfast uh, business there over on the East Coast. And for whatever reason, she barged into this dude's room, one of her guests that was staying there. And she came in there with two guys, and she looks like she's in her 40s, and these guys look like they're in their 50s. <clears throat> she comes in there with two guys. Now, luckily, the, 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 the guest in the room got out his camera, and he captured, you know, Kathy Tertola on video where she's just fucking punching and kicking the shit out of him, having this violent, spasmatic fucking episode of psycho whatever dude and then he he accidentally slips out and says you know why are you videotaping me and then that, that draws her attention to the camera and you know and then uh and then she notices that he's got a recording device but she thinks that it just does audio well it also happens to be a video camera and then so she's standing there at the edge of his bed he's standing on top of his bed trying to keep away from her and then she fucking does these crocodile tears and fucking, like, creates this fucking victim narrative, like, instantaneously on the spot. You know, I mean, like, and, and then she, uh, and then she accuses, you know, she accuses the guy of raping her, just shouts out rape and says that he's trying to rape her. And everybody's got their clothes on. And the accused is actually, like, backing away from her and, like, trying to stay away and all that. And then these guys, they're, you know, that's in the room during this whole thing as it unfolds, they're pissed off just because this guy, for some reason, pissed off Kathy Tertola, you know, the woman, and all that. But, like, you notice, like, when you watch her accuse him of rape, the guys don't do anything about it. And the reason why is because they know that rape allegation's fucking bullshit. They were there the whole fucking time. They know that nobody put anybody's hands on anybody in any kind of sexual way. And the only thing going on was fucking yelling and violence, you know? Uh, by the woman onto a man. And I don't even know what set this bitch off. What could he have done to fucking warrant that shit? Did he steal some silverware? Did he skip out on, on his bill? Like, what the fuck? I mean, you know, what would fucking justify, you know, uh, being punched and kicked, you know? But but that's what that's what she does, you know. And then and then what would justify a fucking rape allegation, you know? And and, and the gender that you kiss ass to does that shit, you know? What the fuck? Come on. And I need you to address this shit. Um, and I think that we should have some correspondence. Now, keep in mind, you know, I'm in contact with people such as uh, the Femetheist, of whom we call Dr. Claw. Um, she's on the, uh, I guess, opposing end of, uh, of what me and the disposable human doing are in an ideology. However, although she's from the feminist persuasion or whatever, and I am anti-feminist, <clears throat> uh, we we do kind of come together and agree on you know this flaw of feminism where they focus on this trivial bullshit and you know I, I, uh, one of our more recent videos I thought was pretty cool because it, it it actually was a step in the right direction to where she she you know uh, she basically condemns mainstream feminism as just being about petty bullshit, you know, first world problems as she describes it. And then, you know, um, and even though I think she would be put in the category of feminist, but she differs herself from the mainstream feminist and all that. But anyway, yeah, you know, congratulations to her and that sort of thing, but, um, and then even though, like, me and the Femetheist are, like, you know, there we're we are a type of opponent. You know, I don't see her as an enemy. You know, I don't see her as if she needs to be taken off YouTube or needs to be locked up in jail or whatever. You know, it, it's kind of like the whole Magneto and Professor X type of scenario. You know, they were friends and all that. They you know, and they recognize that there's a problem. They just come up with different solutions to it, which in in many cases puts them in opposition to each other. Uh, but yet they don't hate each other, and they value each other's friendship, and that's kind of how I feel like it is between me and the Femetheist. Um, 
Now, I make fun of her and call her names sometimes and all that. It's, it's just a reaction, you know, when when she makes some of the comments and all that in her videos. And um, I, I have a certain type of respect for her. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I'm not going to dispute that she's made some videos and made some viewpoints which do get on my nerves. But at the same time, when, when we actually have correspondence through messaging and all that, she seems really cool and treats me pretty alright. So, you know, I don't hate her. And I don't hate you either, Electro Casile. It's just like, maybe maybe that's the type of situation. Like how it is between me and the Fometheus, maybe that's how it's going to be between me and you. But anyway, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, we don't have to like seriously fight. I mean, we can... You know, we can uh, basically bitch each other out or whatever. It's all fine, but, you know, uh, I won't flag your shit. You know, uh, Hopefully you don't flag mine. And uh, we can just live and let live. But anyway, uh, going on to the Kathy Tertola thing, it's just fucking bullshit bogus rape allegation just so she can fucking wield power over men and get her fucking way. Uh, and the reason why I say men is because there were no women present other than herself. And, you know, she just, she expected these two guys that she came up there with to just fucking, like, beat this guy, this guest, you know, into a fucking bloody pulp. And then because they don't do it, you know, she just fucking keeps on acting and acting and she just won't fucking shut up. And saying that the guy won't let her out of his room even though he keeps telling her and is almost yelling at her to get out of his room. You know, she's sitting right, right there on his bed. You know, she's standing there and says, you know, rape, you're trying to rape me. And then she fucking, you know, sits on his bed while she's saying the dude's trying to rape him. She's sitting right next to the door that's fucking wide open. I mean, she could practically, like, move the wrong way and, and bump her elbow on it. That's how fucking close she is to the door. Then she'll stand up next to the door, slap it, and it's wide open. You can see light coming through it. You know, through a fucking wooden door, you know? So it's wide open. She grabs the, the doorknob and then fucking bangs on the side of the door and says, you won't let me out of your room and all that. Then the dude tells her to call the cops and she says she don't have a phone. Um, and meanwhile, she was just, you know, like gathering up her fucking phone in her hands along with her keys. And the, the guy mentions that the woman's boyfriend has a phone because he was just a minute prior you know, to that, he, you know, he was, you know, um, one of the guys that came up in the room was using his cell phone to check the time because who, who wears a watch anymore, right? So anyway, you know, just, you ought to see the video. It often, you know, called Crazy Landlord and all that, um, but um, it's it went viral on YouTube back in uh, early September of 2012. And, I mean, it's just very, very re revealing about inherent female nature. You know, the, the nature of the beast in which you kiss ass to. You know, because, like, I guess that's how you fucking get validated. And, I mean, what fucking benefit can you get from kissing ass to a woman? I mean, like... I, and I used, to, I used to fucking put women up on a pedestal for the first 30 years of my life. You know, finally, you know, right before I turned 32, I started waking up to how this shit really works. You know, when I, when I just, like, when I just notice the, the, how so frequently, you know, there's a difference between what women say and what women do. I mean, you know, women say they want a nice guy, but then they go for that guy whom they later label as an asshole, you know? Uh, I mean, it just, it just the, the, you know, this kind of thing, you know, and they, they'll, they'll label themselves as strong and independent, and then when the shit hits the fan, they fucking panic and look for a guy to fucking handle the world for them, and all this other shit, and, I mean, most women, and I say most women are like that, you know, like, most women are not even worth dating, and then look at how women are nowadays. You know, the way they were born, they would have been beautiful. But then they fucking make themselves so ugly and trashy with their fucking tramp stamp tattoos. 
and fucking, you know, like, they turn themselves into a fishing lure with all the piercings. And, and then they fucking smoke so their teeth get all nasty and their breath is just like beyond the nastiness of an ashtray. You know, and I got tired of kissing the ashtray, you know what I'm saying? Because my former girlfriend, she used to smoke and I let her do just about whatever. And because I thought that was what I was supposed to do if I was going to, you know, have somebody to enjoy. And uh, so, you know, I just got tired of it. And it's just... I mean, you, know, you call guys, you know, fat and ugly and whatever. Look at some of these women out there. Look at a lot of these women. I mean, they just... Uh, here's, the, here's the double standard and the hypocrisy. A lot of these women are not as attractive as they would prefer a male to be in order to be with, in order to be with them. You know, it's just fucking selfishness. I mean, what the fuck? I mean... You know, like, me and the disposable human doing, we, we know this guy. And he's a pickup artist, and he's pathetic. And he acts a lot like you in, in, in regards to women. I mean, this guy, here he is, he cannot turn down pussy at all. I mean, I'm wondering if there is something that's too low for him. I mean, me and my colleague, the Disposable Human Doing, we've thought about getting the most fucking, you know, just finding the most fucking toxic, vile, evil, manipulative, psycho bitch and, like, having her make advances at this dude, you know? Hopefully some girl that's got a fucking STD and that's just... And also, maybe if she's nasty and see if he'll actually turn it down. I mean, at, at what point is is, you know, like... You never mention the quality of these women that you get with. I mean, are they even worth it? I mean, no, you don't mention the quality of them. You just mention the quantity. And, yeah, I'm not against having sex. I mean, sex is great. But, like, it's not worth fucking sacrificing the quality of one's own life. You know? I mean, look at this shit which happens so much. Well, look at what happened uh, a while back with uh, uh, at Hofstra University and all that. It was on the Steve Wilco show where some girl, you know, uh, wanted some fucking dick. I mean, she wanted some dick and her, I guess her boyfriend wasn't around or whatever. She went to a party. Basically, she's she, she's got infidelity issues. And just, you know, acting upon women's own, you know, um, hypergamous nature. <clears throat> you know, getting the next better deal or whatever. Um, and so anyway, so this girl, you know, or this woman, whatever, college-age girl, you know, goes to this party, and, well, you know, she sees these dudes there, and she decides she wants to get some dick. So she's convincing a couple of them to actually have sex with her and all that. Um, well, and then um, she left that place, and then... Uh, had just came back looking like she had hot sex, you know, that, that's what her boyfriend described. And uh, and then he asked her where she had been, and then, you know, she just like, her response was, well, I, I just got raped, you know, and like, acted like it was like no big deal, you know, and of course this was in the news, I looked up some kind of news article site. So anyway, <clears throat> and that's where I found some more of the details. And, I mean, so she got freaky with a couple of guys or whatever. Didn't want her boyfriend to find out, find out, you know, and she didn't want to have to go through the guilt and shame that a man would have to go through uh, if he were, you know, having fidelity issues. And so she fucking tries to dignify herself with the rape allegation. All this shit. Uh, what is it? Four, four or five guys get locked up. And all this shit, and then they want to. They decide they want to eat a bullet because they know society's going to hate them, even if they get you know acquitted of it. You know, society will still distrust the justice system, and all that's so the shit that typically happens. That the 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 you know your fucking benevolent goddess fucking bitch that you kiss ass to, Electro Casile. You know the fucking women and their fucking gender do all this fucking shit. They fucking milk the sympathy. They're just fucking... They're, I'm judging them by the standards in which they judge men. And women can't fucking measure up. Now, I mean, there might be a few who could, 
But most of them fucking can't. They're fucking selfish, greedy, manipulative, evil fucking cunts. You know what I'm saying? And I wish, I wish I can go back to admiring women and all that, but I can't. You know, like, back in the fall of 2011, some chick that I used to work with, whom I was attracted to, starts fucking messing, messaging me on Facebook and fucking flirting with me, you know? You know, saying shit like, you know, uh, laugh out loud, I bet you think I'm hot. And, you know, I'd say, you know, I plead the fifth. And she said, hey, that's not fair, butthead. Now I'm wondering. Now I'm thinking, like, why do you, why do you need to know this? And, you know, so I elaborated. I told, or elaborated. I told her, you know, I plead the fifth. No one should be forced to witness against themselves. She got all pissed and all that. And then, you know, she started talking to me or whatever on Facebook. And this is a girl that I used to work with on a daily basis. So it's not like I just met somebody over the Internet, you know. She just so happened to, to contact me on the Internet um, because she didn't know my phone number or whatever. But I guess that was her convenient way of, of contacting me. And so anyway, she starts, you know, having some kind of dialogue or whatever. And I said, you know, I don't know what you're trying to do. But it's being interpreted as flirting. And her reaction was basically of this. Where she, you know, she she responded, you know, as, it, you know, by saying, you know, so what if I am? You know, like, you know, she acted like there's nothing wrong with her flirting with me. Well, whether or not there is, the fact is, you know, I told her to, to just be direct and say what she means. And then she says that she she actually says that she was a, that she actually said that she's attracted to me, and that she likes me and all this other kind of stuff. And I wasn't buying it, dude. I mean, I've been through that fucking shit too many damn times. You know, I'm sick of it. You know, where like they fucking flirt with you and all this shit, or you know, until you become interested in them, then they fucking just abandon you. And then they they're fucking cunts, is what they are. I mean. <clears throat> They're enslaved by their own biology, and they're fucking pissed off about it. So they fucking, like, do all kind of shit to get back at a man. And I'm not even sure they're even completely aware of what they do. You know, maybe that's why they got all their fucking Nawalt deflections of not all women are like that. Well, you know, I'm fucking sick of this shit where they can, they actually can label a man with impunity of being like that. You know, that, that all men can be like that. I'm tired of the fucking shit where women say, men are assholes, men are pigs, you know, and all this shit. And they just say, men are assholes, men are pigs, you know, f fucking generalizing it like that. Oh, but how dare a guy say that women are cunts, you know, and just, I'm sick of the fucking women's insecurities, that's why they don't like to tell their age or their weight or anything like that, I'm just fucking tired of, of their bullshit, and they're, they're, they're not anybody to be respected and admired when they won't even fucking, like, adhere to their own fucking expectations that they, imp that they impose on other people, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and, and and by all means, I am not limiting, uh, I'm not trying to limit your access to vagina because, dude, you can have as much pussy as as the women will give you. Matter of fact, have some of the pussy that, that you thought I might have been able to get. You know what I'm saying? Here, whatever pussy some woman was going to give me, I give it to you now. You can have it, dude. You know, you can have all these women. I'm fucking sick of their sh of their shit. You know, it's like maybe you just need some more abuse from women and then maybe you'll wise up. You know what I'm saying? And all I'm really wanting is for women to treat men the way you know, they would want a man to treat them. You know, just some kind of equality of treatment, some kind of fair universal standard. You know, and and if casual sex is acceptable, then then it's acceptable. You know, if we all decided tomorrow that you know we wanted to take, you know, a clump of like fucking you know blue colored finger paint and fling it with a kitchen spoon on a window and see what kind of shape of a splat it makes, and if we as a society decided to do that and all agreed on it, then I guess that would be fine. You know, I don't know. But still, um, I I'm tired of women's shit. And this girl, she was, you know, you know, attractive, you know, and the way she looked wasn't the issue. 
the one that was making advances at me, the one that said that she likes me and that she's attracted to me, it's the way that she fucking acts. You know, it's the way she behaves. You know, like most guys would probably, you know, have jumped on that opportunity. You know, a lot of guys would have regarded her as attractive. And I don't know why she was making these advances at me. Um... But, you know, I accidentally, accidentally made the mistake of getting drunk one night and then typing her a message and, and telling her that I'm glad that she did not die at work because she almost got electrocuted one time. She was plugging something in to test it and something shorted out and it sent a shock up her arm uh, and it just, like, fucking, like, messed up the electrical socket and this was before I actually got there for my shift. And I was told that smoke was just pouring out of the electrical outlet like like it were like it was water or something. Like like with that type of you know, that type of physical characteristics. And I accidentally told her that, you know, um that I'm glad that she didn't die that day from electrocution. And then I guess she thought it is like all extra sweet, so she started flirting with me even more. And, but, you know, she's, she's into Twilight, she's into this romance novel fucking shit, you know, which is like a fucking bottle of booze to, uh, to a homeless bum, you know, it, it's like that kind of stuff, and, you know, her looks were not the issue, I mean, her looks were, were pretty good, it's just the way she acted, you know what I'm saying, like, I can't trust her, you know, I mean, like, she'll just, I mean, Anyway, dude, pussy is not the best thing in the world. Uh, if you think it is, by all means, you should have as much of it as, you know, women are, you know, willing to, to offer you. Because, after all, they're the ones in charge. I mean, I know, you, you know, you, 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 uh, you, you pussy beggars and pickup artists got your fucking game that, that you do. And then, like, it, I don't know if it's some kind of fucking mating ritual or whatever kind of shit. But basically, you're the ones that think you're in control and you're not. It, 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 here's the thing. Women are only tolerating you while they think they can get some kind of benefit. I mean, go look at go look up Briffalt's Law. Go look up um, fucking Fisherian Runaway. You know, this is like fucking scientific shit, you know. It's not some fucking neckbeard loser in his basement, you know, being being sore about not getting laid, you know, <clears throat> um, just, and apparently, y you do, you do have validation issues, like, you have this desperate craving for, for female approval, and I'm not even sure you're really aware of it, I mean, like, like, what, I mean, dude, I mean, I worry about you, you know what I'm saying, and, it's just, and if you've had violent fucking desires because of your suffering or whatever, then I feel sorry for you too, because, you know, violence and, and property damage and all this kind of shit is not something of interest to me. You know, it's just like, people people have generally never been violent toward me. I mean, there's, on a few rare occasions, you know, some people have distributed, or have uh, displayed violence toward me, but it's very, very rare, and violence is not even something that really occurs to me, but, but frustration does. Frustration is a tool in which, I mean, people do it to all kinds of people, like, so often, you know, and so, you know, my forte is fucking getting on people's nerves, you know, and it just... You know, I, I use it as a tool, you know, it's like, you know, people fucking ride my, you know, ride my back and fucking rip my ass about shit. I'm like, hey, you know, and then I'll just, you know, uh, deal with it appropriately. But, you know, I keep it, I just keep it restrained to just, you know, ranting or griping or complaining or like whatever. And I don't feel like harming other people is actually something of interest so anyway dude i mean after these fucking cunts are are you know are um are uh finished with you you know uh they'll just they'll find a way to dispose of you 
And they got the fucking, like, victim laws and the Violence Against Women Act and all this kind of shit. They got the fucking feminist on their side of whom, you know, government is so fucking desperate to win female approval. That's why the only real vote that they actually really care about is the female vote. And all this other shit. And then they just, it's all fucking pathetic. I mean, where's the fucking equality? You know, where's all this equality and justice for all? You know, fucking, like, patriotic patriotic bullshit that we fucking put our hand over our heart and, you know, obsess about when we look at the American flag. You know? And, <clears throat> and I just wish people would get their shit together and, you know, and that we could all get along in society, but now people just gotta fucking be dipshits and fucking exploit other people. And all that, and I'm not saying that you exploit people, uh, Electro Casile. I'm not. I'm not pointing fingers at you. I'm just talking about people do all this kind of shit in general, you know. And um, but anyway, you know, I, I'm just saying like when women, you know, like oh, okay, they're they're giving you access to vagina right now, but if they find the next better deal and all that, and then you try to still pursue them and have a place with them. Well, they'll just say that you're some creepy fucking stalker, rapist, or child molester, or whatever. And I'm not saying that's what you are. You know, I don't, I don't suspect you of even being those kinds of things. But what I'm saying is, if they feel like that tool needs to be used, then they'll fucking label you as a detriment to society and get and and get men and the law and and entities to fucking do their dirty work and dispose of you. And they will play the role of the damsel in distress to do that, you know? I mean, if you want to actually get in bed with a ticking time bomb, that's your business, you know what I'm saying? But you fucking ran on, and you, and you pick these easy targets. You know, this is how fucking pathetic. I mean, this is how pathetic you are. I mean, it's like you prop yourself up as some kind of fucking you know, accomplishment of, like, human achievement or whatever, you know, saying that you get laid and all that, and it's just that you're getting laid. I mean, the fuck? Have you cured cancer yet? Have you fucking invented the longer-lasting light bulb? I mean, what the fuck? I mean, like, have you solved the mysteries of, like, the human mind? I mean, like, I'm not saying that you can't. You know, maybe you should try for that. But why do you fucking waste your time with getting your dick wet? I mean, there are more productive things to do with your time. I mean, like, fuck, why don't you go into chemistry or something like that and and create, you know, more fade-resistant ink uh, for, for things or, you know, uh, do some kind of research in a, into you know, the molecular structures of, of materials and improve memory metals. Or, fuck, come on, dude. Like, you know, bring, you know, light-emitting light transistor technology onto the market. You know, the concept already exists, and there's some prototypes. But, I mean, there's some other shit that a person could be doing with their life. How about invent some fucking drug to cure this, you know, some kind of pharmaceutical product to cure this illness or whatever. I mean, all you're doing is you think you're benefiting from these women, but they're the ones that are benefiting from you, you know? And you're just fucking crawling in bed with a fucking predatory parasite who will, fi who will fucking seek out a guy, you know, like a predator does, but then once she snags a guy... She'll behave more like a fucking parasite. And I'm sick of this shit that women do. And there are some women that have their shit together and seem like they're pretty cool. But there's not enough of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you just fucking pick on easy targets. And you just pick on these virgins, you know, that, that understand that women are not worth their time, appreciation, effort, resource, and respect. You know, maybe these guys have high standards, you know. I mean, you ever thought, you know, that they have, like, the high standards of, like, personal character in a woman? And, like, most women 
are just fucking the scum of the earth. I mean, yeah, you mentioned the scum of the earth. Most of these women are, dude. They don't even fucking raise their kids right. You know, in the apartment right next to me, there's this fucking bitch over there, you know, a few months ago. And I don't like the way she fucking treated her kid. And here's this bitch, and she looked attractive. Like, most guys would... Well, actually, in fact, in fact most guys did jump on that opportunity. You know, <clears throat> her looks were good enough to where she could snag any guy she wanted to. Uh, she lost her job, and this and that, and, well, what did she do? Fucking, like, have guys over all the time, and for every one female she had over at her apartment to hang out and socialize, she had about three other guys, and then the, the one main dude that, that came over the most, she fucking let him spray paint car parts in an, in an, uh, in a apartment that wasn't even ventilated, and then... So, the kid, this, like, fucking toddler had to breathe all that shit in. Then some other people were spray-painting spray paint in a fucking jug and hoffing it. And all this kind of shit, they fucking tore up that apartment. I didn't even know that when meat, you know, I didn't even know that, that, uh, uh, that whenever uh, a turkey, uh, a cooked Thanksgiving turkey, whenever it sits... At room temperature for a full month, I didn't even know that the meat turns to a greasy black mess and becomes some kind of black jelly like shit, you know? Where the meat just fucking like congeals off of the bone. You know, I went in that apartment after that person got kicked out and that was fucking nasty. The way that fucking girl lived in there and, you know, a pan of stovetop stuffing basically contracted into what looked like a cheese ball, but you can tell it was made out of stuffing, where it just dried up so much it contracted. The fucking fuzzy green black shit growing on top of the fucking green beans, you know, and this was on Christmas Eve when I seen this, and you know, so this shit had only been sitting there for a month. The fucking mouse shit all over the table, and like all the fucking rotted ass food, and it was fucking party central over there. And you would think that all these fucking payday friend fucking moochers, you would think they'd have a conscience and they would decide, you know, that since this girl lost her job or whatever, that they would all fucking pitch in some money and help her pay rent so they can all have a fucking, like, you know, party pad to crash at. And, and all, but no, they didn't. They fucking, like, oh, how many holes in the wall from where the fucking bed hit it and all that. They tore up this and that. It was just fucking pathetic. And the apartment manager rolled out, metaphorically rolled out the red carpet to this girl. And the way she fucking treated her kid and all this fucking shit where she'd fucking yell at him. And it just, I mean, I never even heard a kid make sounds like that girl's kid did. You know, at first I didn't even know that there was a child living over there. I thought it was a fucking cat. You know, right here. I mean, like the, and then I didn't know that it was a kid until I actually saw the kid whine like that when I was coming back in my apartment from like going grocery shopping or whatever. You know, or coming back home from work, and like well, it, it was just, it, it was something to worry about. And one day she's fucking throwing a bitch fit out in the yard. You know, and I caught that on camera. That was pretty messed up. And just fucking, ye like, literally yelling in every different direction. Yelling in this direction. Then turn around yelling in that direction. Then fucking yelling at the neighbor saying, Bye, bitch! Bye, ho! And all this fucking shit. All the drama. I mean, the fuck? Was she fucking auditioning for Jerry Springer? And this is a fucking gender that you fucking look up to and, and crawl in bed with. No, I'm not disputing that there's shitty guys out there. You know, I've seen some of that stuff with my own eyes. But, you know, we seem to have this society, you know, society seems to have this consensus that, that women are, like, full of sugar and spice and everything nice. And it's not fucking true, you know? I mean, like, you know, if you want to if you wanna know a little more about my views on some of the things, watch The Amazing Atheist and his videos and how he deals with the double standard and, and all and fucking girl power and all this kind of shit. You know, Barbarossa, he's badass. He'll fucking pwn you, dude. Like once he recognizes that you're a fucking pathetic pussy beggar, you know, and 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 then that's like your primary goal in life, you know, which is almost as important as like fucking breathing air to you or whatever. 
you know, once Barbarossa finds out about you, you know, you're probably going to hear about it. You know, if you actually get on his radar, Stardust, he's totally badass. Um, you know, and I've actually seen, you know, Barbarossa before in one of his videos. He looks like he can get pussy even easier than you can, you know, and I'm talking to Electro Casile. You know, Barbarossa is totally fucking badass, and he's a man going his own way. And I've seen video of him. Uh, yeah, he looks good enough to get at least as many women as you do, if not more. So it's not about looks or whatever. And he's fucking fed up with women and how they fucking treat people. And just, you know what I'm saying? And then Stardust, you know, Stardust looks roughly about the way you do. Um, and he, he just got fucking tired of women's abuse and all that. Uh, man, woman, myth. I don't know exactly what he looks like, but he doesn't look any worse than you do. And he's actually married, but he's fucking fed up with women's shit. And luckily, you know, he got with a girl that that treats him right or whatever. But nonetheless, you know. And and then how about girl rights? What? I mean, she's fucking sick of how women behave, and and especially feminism and girl power and this gynocentric society. So why don't you go look into some of them people, and uh, and then um, yeah, and, and you know why don't you go for the more hard targets? But no, you go for these fucking easy targets. Like, you know, the ignored gender, and, and I'm assuming and speculating that that's one of the people whom you're talking about because he's one of the men's rights people and all that, and he's, you know, a uh, virgin, and he's a man going his own way. Now, I respect the ignored gender, um, but, you know, the issue I got with him is that he's only focusing on the symptoms of the problem and not actually really understanding the in-depth reason for why women are the way they are and and all and all this portrayal of men and women in the media and all that uh he he, he does make a valuable contribution but he needs to start it'd be nice if he started addressing the issue of female nature you know like he just basically focuses on the volcano and excludes the fact that the earth has a molten iron and rock core and lava tubes and all this other kind of shit which would cause a volcano and you know feminism and 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 you know like uh, bad female behavior would be in this metaphor it'd be like the volcano you know it's on the surface everybody sees it's there but nobody really sees the the molten core of the earth and, and understands why volcanoes exist so anyway you're, you you might make a video response to this I mean that's fine you know, you can rip my ass all you want, you know, just make sure you don't flag me or whatever, you know. We can duke it out if that's what you want or if that's what you feel the the interaction needs to go, you know. I mean, it's fine. Uh, just remember not to flag, you know, don't block or any kind of shit like that because I don't feel like blocking you and, you know, that sort of thing. Now, they just, I don't tolerate, you know, threats of violence or anything like that. But if you just use words, you know, you know, call me like a dumb, like you know, a dumb fuck or a dipshit. That's fine. You know, that's the universal standard that I function on. You know, now the whole fucking, you know, it's not necessary to call anybody a fucking creepy stalker, rapist, asshole, abuser, piece of shit. Cause see, I don't feel like doing that kind of stuff to you. But also at the same time, you don't. You know, you don't strike me as that type of person. You don't, you know, you, like, I look at you and I don't think that you're a rapist or a fucking stalker or whatever. I just think that you're some kind of person who has, like, this this pathetic addiction um, to female approval uh, and validation um, and, ac and basically which access to vagina would would um would, would provide and and i kind of know where you're coming from i mean i've been in the situation like 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 you you know of like res you know respecting and admiring women and trying to get access to vagina and all that and i did get plenty of access but you know it just and then especially with with the shit that happened in 2011 and all that, and, you know, fucking invisible love triangle, and then that one, you know, that one uh, girl that flirted with me a whole bunch, and I basically friend-zoned her, and see, that's another thing, that's another thing that really, really, um, 
that that really caused me to wake up about how women are is like a lot of my life I've been friend zoned. You know what I'm saying? You know, putting the friend zone where you know you, you know where like let's say that you're interested in a girl and all that, and then she basically imprisons you within a um, within the friend zone, which means you know she just she just wants to be friends and she doesn't want to date you or whatever and that sort of thing and I've dealt with that like so many times dozens of times or whatever and then when I go to friend zone a girl she acts like it's a fucking crime against humanity and I'm like what the fuck you know I mean like how how am I supposed to relate to this bitch and fucking trust her when she can't put up with you know, not having access to dick, but then I, hypothetically as a man, am expected to just fucking suck it up and deal with not having access to pussy. You know, where, you know what I'm saying? And, <clears throat> and she got all fucking pissed off at me, you know, this girl, the one that was flirting with me, the one that I thought was attractive, and all that, she flirted with me and all that, and then when I basically didn't fucking take the bait... And all this other kind of shit. And then she got all fucking pissed. And act like I horribly violated her or whatever. And then she fucking did her revenge romance. You know where she fucking come into my workplace. And you know, drive up in the car. You know fucking flaunting her ex-husband. You know and how she's getting back with him and all that. And you know just basically the little intimidation tactic of. You know basically telling you know. You know suggestively. Um, basically. You know, basically trying to shame me. You know, trying to shame and intimidate me by, you know, by saying, you know, look what you could have had. Now he's got me. And I'm just fucking sick of the fucking manipula the manipulation, the fucking, you know, contortion of the facts, the fucking victim narrative. I'm just tired, you know, of when women actually behave like an abuser, but then fucking portray themselves like a victim. You know, and you're probably going to go back to picking on easy targets again. Like, I mean, if you start picking on me, I, I'd be surprised. You know, like, you probably just, you know, you might just probably ignore my video response. Um, since it's over an hour long and just probably regard it to be of, you know, not any significant importance. You know, I'd like to see you go after the hard targets like Barbarossa, Stardust, Man, Woman, Myth... Uh, you know, maybe Rocking Mystery, you know, um, um, you know, maybe you should try going after Girl Rights What, you know, and if, and if you were looking into people like Tom Likas, you know, then I'm not, I'm not entirely surprised that you come to the conclusion that you come to, you know, I mean, Tom Likas is, is kind of interesting, I mean, he's a guy that under under the surface knows that, you know, women are fucking bitches. But then, you know, it's like, I don't know, dude, in some ways he almost reminds me of a fucking pussy beggar. Like, maybe he'd be one of them, maybe he's one of them people that thinks that he can fucking tame the beast. Nah, dude. You know, I found out, you know, one reason why I go my own way I just don't want the fucking drama in my life and all kind of fucking shit. You know, I don't like it when shit comes up missing, you know, or just fucking all the manipulation. You know, and then the f what made me kick out my, uh, my, my girlfriend at the time was this fucking stunt she pulled. Well, actually, there's two stunts that she pulled. You know, she wanted to test to see if she still had, still had feelings for me or whatever and test her fucking loyalty or whatever, so... She made sure, well, she basically got me drunk, got one of her friend, her female friends drunk, uh, had me have sex with this girl while she basically supervised and all that to, to, see, to watch the event happen and see whether or not she would get jealous. And, you know, and I didn't even want any part of it initially because whenever I come home from work, you know, and I saw this other person here, you know, this other girl, I basically, like, just fucking ignored the person. You know, I didn't know who they were, and, like, it was just an awkward situation, you know. But then we celebrated my girlfriend's 21st birthday. I got drunk because, you know, at that time I liked to drink, and I drank the harder stuff, you know. And, 
Anyway, I got drunk, and so we were all just having a conversation, socializing. Next thing you know, this fucking bitch starts, you know, making advances on me and all this other shit. And then my, my, at the time, my girlfriend was all, like, encouraging it and fucking escalating it even more until it turned out to just all-out sex. And it just, you know, and th this is a chick that I wouldn't have even, like, done anything with hadn't I been, you know, if I hadn't been drunk and all this other kind of shit. And that's when I found out, you know, that's when I started finding out that, you know, the fucking myth about men getting women drunk so they can rape the girl or whatever. Nah, dude, it's fucking bullshit because I'll tell you what, when women get drunk, they'll just about fucking rape a guy. You know, like, I'm just fucking sick of these fucking stereotypes, you know, and all this fucking shit. And that women do, and then then the then the the straw that broke the camel's back for me kicking out my girlfriend was when um, she fucking arranged this stunt to see if I would get jealous and basically become the white knight and fucking fight off some other guy to defend this girl's honor or just whatever kind of, you know the fucking you know stereotypical you know immature guy jealousy stuff you know that women bitch about. You know, and, well, boys will be boys, you know, where it's like, you know, she wanted to talk to her ex-boyfriend, and I let it happen because, you know, they were friends, you know, also, and she said she had some important things to tell him or whatever, and she wanted him to come over here, and and I agreed to it because I thought he was just going to swing by here for about three hours, you know, socialize, they're both into the same type of video games, and, you know, which is Guitar Hero and some of this other stuff, so I figured... You know, I was, you know, being the nice guy and doing her a favor and, you know, not oppressing women and all that by letting her, like, actually make a choice and actually choose to do something. So then, the first, so what happens, He, sh her, the ex-boyfriend shows up at my apartment here where my girlfriend was living and shows up at about 7 o'clock in the morning. First thing he does is fucking falls asleep on my floor, you know, because he just got done working the night shift. Well, he ended up sleeping all damn day till about 6 p.m., so he slept about 11 hours and all that. And then he woke up, and I figured, well, hmm, you know, he'll get his social time in. Then, you know, about an hour or two later, then he'll leave, no? Well, you know, that's what I thought. Well, fuck, I thought he would at least be gone by midnight. No, nope, no, nope. and he just socialized some more, and then, like, I just basically went off and did my own business, play with the computer, you know, fucking, like, listen to some music, you know, whatever. And, um, so then he ended up spending, you know, the night there, you know, and, I, you know, and then, uh, I wake up, you know, in the morning after sunrise to go use the bathroom, and I noticed my, you know, I noticed, you know, her, which at the time she was my girlfriend, and her ex-boyfriend on the, f on the floor under the cover, spoon position, his arm around her, and I think they had their clothes on or whatever, the point is, they were getting, you know, a bit sensual and this and that, and, you know, I'm just like, you know what, you know, I'm sick of this shit. Um, so then, um, later on, uh, you know, after she had, uh, went over to her mom's house to hang out with her ex-boyfriend there, uh, I packed up all her shit, as much of it as I could gather up, put it in a big pile on my living room floor, called up her mom, told the mom to basically drop off, you know, or to come up here where I'm at, and then, so, my ex-girl, went, you know, so then, you know, this girl can fucking pick up her shit and get out of my life. And, uh, well, I told her mom that. Well, her mom didn't tell, you know, the daughter, which was at that time my girlfriend. And so whenever my, you know, my girlfriend had come home, you know, the first thing happens when she walks to the door, she says, What the fuck is this? Fucking gets all mad. You know, and I told her why I was doing it, and I just, you know, kept a cool head about it. It's like, you know, I can't be having this double standard, you know, because during most of the relationship, I had to hear about well, men cheating, men cheating, because men cheat, you know, all this fucking, men are cheaters. Well, men shouldn't have the internet because it, it enables them to cheat. Well, well, men shouldn't have webcams because it turns them into cheaters. And, and whenever a man gets off of work, he should come straight home so he don't have an opportunity to cheat. And all this fucking oppressive bullshit... 
you know, and I'm fucking sick of all this shit where women try to control men and invade so many aspects of a man's life and all this fucking shit. And then, and then if a man, like, does, like, anything to, to fucking defy her control, then he's labeled as a fucking abuser. And then there's all kind of fucking categories and subcategories and all this fucking sh shit for abuse. You know, I remember one time my, my you know, my ex-girlfriend would fucking leave the lights on. You know, after we went to bed and all that, and it's like waste all this electricity when she obviously wasn't using them. She wasn't even in the room, and she went back to bed and all this, leaving the kitchen light on just because she thought it looked good, and you know, or like the way it made the room look, or whatever. And I'm like, hey, you know, like I have to pay that electric bill, and I, and I got tired of telling her, so you know, I um. Oh, of course, her defense was, well, well I don't want to live like a mole, and, 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 and my dad used to tell me to turn off lights when, when I wasn't in the room and all that, and, and he said if we turned on any more than one light, he would break our arm, and, 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 and whatever kind of fucking shit she used to rant about. So then when, you know, one day I left a fucking, you know, uh, a note on the light switch whenever I you know, notice that there's a light on after we went to bed, you know, I got up to use the bathroom, notice that there's a light left on. You know, so I left a note on the on the light switch and I said, you know, I said, uh, you know, because electricity's not free, um, you know, and I have to bust my ass at a job that you hate so that I could pay a bill that you use, you know, you need to like turn the lights off when you're not using them and all that. Well, she kept the note and then went around telling people and telling me also that I was mentally and emotionally abusing her and all this kind of fucking bullshit. You know, I'm tired of this fucking double standard and Electro Casile, if you want to if if you want to fucking crawl in bed with, you know, with with that with that gender and fucking reward them for their bad behavior, that's your business. You know, I'm attracted to women. You know, there's no shortage of women of whom I'm attracted to. But there are a there's a profound shortage of women who are dateable and who are desirable based on their personality. You know, I got a big fucking problem with how people treat people. That's why I get all fucking pissed off at these American picker wannabes, you know, that won't fucking work a job for what they want to have. They just want to fucking, you know, buy and sell shit and then fucking mark it up and act like they're some kind of fucking, you know, oh my gosh. I mean, and you know, I don't have a problem with buying and selling because that's how commerce happens and that's how we as consumers in society get our products. But what I have a problem with is how these resellers treat people. You know what I'm saying? You know, like if you're selling something or you, let's say you work at a store, you know, th these fucking American picker wannabes will expect you to reduce the price of what you're selling something so they can buy it cheaper and then turn around and jack up the price and turn a profit so they don't have to fucking flip burgers or fucking work in a coal mine or, or, or fucking patch pavement on the road out in the fucking hot sun or do whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying, that they that they don't think they should have to do. You know, I'm tired of all this fucking selfish, greedy fucking bullshit. And... You know, and it just, I'm, I'm just sick of how people treat each other, you know? And it's just, and here's another thing. I mean, like, here's, here's a little metaphor or analogy to help you understand it. It's like men are the employees of a business, and then women are like the fucking customers that come in and fucking throw bitch fits and try to get free shit, you know? Like, if you know how customer service works out, yeah. That's the fucking state of affairs between men and women on the fucking dating scene. You know, for like love pursuits and all this other shit, you know. Yeah, there are some nice, satisfied customers, but there's too many fucking dumb shits that fucking just try to exploit the system, and I'm tired of it. You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just fucking tired of how women treat people, you know. And how they fucking treat themselves, you know. Like, they'll fucking fight each other. You know, like how they negatively stereotype men for doing. You know, I'm just fucking sick of women behaving the same way of, ha you know, the same way as how they negatively stereotype men for behaving. You know, it's just, I'm fucking sick of that shit. You know, and, and I'm done with it. 
You know, I'm fucking tired of the shit. And so that's why I'm a man going my own way. And, you know, th th and for the first time in my life, I can actually look at a woman and not have butterflies in my stomach. I feel nothing. You know, I feel nothing for her. I mean, I look at her, and she looks visually appealing. You know, I'm looking at this girl, and it's like, wow, this, you know, this looks attractive. You know, um, and then, but I don't feel any type of desire for her. You know, I don't feel like I need to even talk to her or or socialize or, or have sex or kiss or anything like that. You know, I don't feel like I need to be around her for anything, you know, and, it, and it's a very empowering feeling, you know, there's so much fucking betrayal <clears throat> that has occurred, and most women are the predator within the porcelain doll, I mean, fuck, look at Taylor Swift, this is your fucking stereotypical cunt these days, and the future is single mothers, you know, I mean, look at it, I mean, look at how women exploit people, you know, all kind of fucking shit, you know, I mean, now government is having to fucking wake up and, like, revamp how it doles out the fucking welfare dollar. You know, I mean, like, and I'm just, I'm just fucking sick of women's shit. There's another good documentary called If Women Ruled the World, and it just fucking shows their hubris and their fucking attitude and all this fucking shit. You know, I'm sick of women fucking exploiting people. And... Just all of it, you know? And, but anyway, I am a man going my own way, and I am a a different type of man going his own way. I started up Elite MGTO, um, and uh, it, it's different than a typical MGTO, you know? It just takes men going their own way and uses it as just a basis, and then it's heavily modified upon you know, until it becomes a derivative. Um, but, um, and I'm not really a men's rights activist. I mean, I'm sympathetic. I'm sympathetic to the men's rights activist cause. It's just, you know, I don't think, you know, MRAs are going to be effective enough and that sort of thing. And ultimately, really, it's just send a message to women, you know, it just like, See, they want to be desired. I mean, if you actually listen to them talk about shit, you know, they, they fucking want to be pursued. I mean, and they have just this fucking struggle for validation and, and for, like, you know, and, and and to feel pursued and desired and all this other shit. It's kind of unique to their own gender, just like men have their own issues and all that. <clears throat> and... You know they they fear invisibility and all that, and see they they'll have they'll they'll basically electrocasile. Women are rewarding you for fucking pursuing them and fucking giving them attention. You know, so but they're doing it for right now. I mean, at least you're offering them something that that they want, but at the same time, you think you're getting something that'll benefit them. <clears throat> Or you're thinking that you're getting something that'll benefit you, but anyway, um, and I'm just sick of the fucking abuse that women do to men, and it is abuse because if men treated women the same way, then women would call it abuse, and you know maybe it's time for the female gender to be under the microscope of public scrutiny. That's why you ought to go watch a, a YouTube channel. Uh, called Violent Women Among Us, and it's just fucking news clips, you know, of women doing all the same shit that they negatively stereotype men for, for doing, and all that, um, and, you know, it just shows more in a proper, you know, context of what's really going on, and as for mental capacity, you know, um, I research and study a whole lot, um, you know, I feel like I have to. You know, I can't even fucking ignore this shit. It just happens, you know? Like, I just look at something and analyze it in such high amount of detail. Uh, that's part of also why I ramble. It's just trying to basically fucking dump a fucking deluge of information on people and all that. 
Uh, but anyway, this this uh, this is about an hour and a half long. Uh, this video response. Uh, I'm gonna have to end it for now. Um, uh, so um, anyway, I'm Manslave, and I run the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. So um, I, I hope you take this stuff into consideration, Electro Casile, and um, you know, give me a response.